Working through your hard problems is what's going to make you a better developer. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Dorian and this is my channel where I talk about how I learned how to code and became a self-taught programmer. Recently, I was given the opportunity at work to challenge myself with a new problem. It was a pretty big full stack task, um, probably one of the most difficult tasks that I've had to work on. I got to learn a lot of new things. I learned about database architecture. I learned about SQL. I learned, I learned a lot of stuff that I hadn't really had a chance to have a deep dive into until this opportunity. I've messed around with some DB stuff and um, I've worked on a few personal projects where, you know, I set up my own database, mo mostly NoSQL. And, you know, they were all kind of smaller things. And now being in a production code base and a, and a pretty large code base with a really, really large database, it was pretty intimidating going in. I did have help the whole way through and I was given a lot of time to work on this task, but it was a struggle. It was hard the entire time. Nothing was easy except for the things that I had already known how to do. Um, setting up the UI, you know, a lot of the front end stuff, most of the angular stuff, except for observables, because I got uh, a good opportunity to learn a lot about RxJS and observables and if I had any hair I would have pulled it out but since I had no hair I probably just lost a little bit more over the last two months but what was funny was I, I was ready for the challenge I really want to grow and become a full stack developer I, I technically am a full stack developer but I want to become a good full stack developer I'm a good front end developer and I I can you know defend myself when it comes to a little bit of back-end stuff. I, I can I can set some things up, but by no means am I an expert, but I I strive to become one. And you know, this was this was one of those cases where I felt like I bit off more than I could chew. You know, when they when my lead developer gave me the timeline that he expected me to complete this task, I kinda thought to myself like, wow, he really must think that I'm not very good because he gave me almost a month and a half or two months that he figured it would take me. You know, we discussed this early on. I made sure that a lot of the tasks that I normally worked on were taken care of. And also, you know, in between this task, I, you know, you know stashed some of my stuff and went and worked on what are my priorities. And then I would go back to work on this task. So, so it stretched quite a bit of time and it ended up taking me a little over two months to complete, which was kind of funny because at first I really did not think that it was going to take me that long, but you know, it was, it was hard and I learned so much from it the entire time I struggled. Um, but that was a good thing because I came out knowing so much more about our code base, about how everything works in our code base. I literally touched everything from front to back. I created a whole service and page all by myself with a little bit of help from a couple other developers. And it was fun. It was, it was stressful. It was hard. I've been a developer for three years and I've had a lot of times more often than not that I feel like I just don't know anything and that I'm never going to get past, you know, this hurdle of whatever is difficult for me to learn at that certain time and you know that never really goes away things that were difficult to you become mundane and trivial and things that were you know unachievable or you know things that you couldn't even conceptualize become achievable and you start working on harder problems so you know that feeling of i'm not going to figure this out it comes and it goes and you'll learn to live with it when you're a developer. It's part of the job and the more you do this, the better you get and the less that feeling will come around. And I kind of wanted to just share that and let you know that although I have been doing this for quite a while now, that still happens and it's normal. And don't feel bad if you get hung up on something and you're stuck and you're you know, spinning your wheels and having a really hard time figuring stuff out. It's part of the job. You know, I, I hate to say it, but get used to it and embrace it, you know, um, take that opportunity to, to learn new things and see how far you can get with this. Because honestly, when I first started out, I, 
the stuff that I am doing right now, I, I it's, my eyes would glaze over when people would talk about the things that I'm working on now. And and it's pretty cool that, you know, I've seen myself grow and you'll see yourself grow as well. So make sure you just keep at it, work through those hard problems because that's what's gonna make you a better developer. That's what's gonna make you grow faster. That's what's gonna get you that job quicker is stick through those hard problems, work at it, and don't stop until you get that job. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And see you next time. Thank you.